Now, earlier on, James drove this 400 horsepower Maserati. Then Jeremy trumped that with the 550 horsepower Ford we've just seen. But now I'm going to play the power joker with a jet engine. Let me show you how much power one of those has got. Well, to find out how powerful a jet engine is, first you need a jet. Well, we've got one. A Boeing 747, and it's ours for the day. And just in case you think we're on a film set, have a look out the window. That's real sky. The 747 is one of the great machines of our time, an icon. It's been around for 35 years and has carried 3.6 billion people. Half the world's population across the globe. And it's big too. The tail is six stories high and you could park 45 cars on the wings. And even though it weighs almost 400 tonnes fully laden and carries this masseuse and 386 passengers, it can still travel at 575 miles an hour. Which brings us neatly to the engines. They're big! These are General Electric CF6s. They're 23 feet long and they weigh six tons. One engine produces 58,000 pounds of thrust, and this has got four of them. But 58,000 pounds of thrust, that's kind of meaningless. How do you get your head round that sort of power? Our plan is to drive a car behind the 747 when the engines are at full power. The question is, how far can the engines blow the car off course? It's not as easy as you might think. It's too dangerous to drive them under here, behind the engines. They have to be well clear. In fact, they have to be way back here, past the tail, and then a bit more. That's a good 50 yards behind the engines. The first car we'll be subjecting to a good stiff breeze is this Ford Mondeo. Modern, aerodynamic, good at coping with motorway crosswinds. Right, here we go. The pilot is easing up the throttle, building up the power. Now it's crucial that we release the car at exactly the right time, because if these engines run at full thrust for more than 20 seconds, they'll start to rip up the runway. And then we'll be in trouble! Okay, Mark, go on, man. We're at this takeoff there. Okay, 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 the engines are at full power, and here comes the long day. Now, can they blow this one and a half ton car off course from 50 yards away? Three, two, one. Oh, here it goes. Must have been blasted a good 50 feet, but we haven't finished yet. Well, that was a modern, streamlined aerodynamic car, so let's have another go now and see what happens when we let loose the Top Gear crosswind on something a little more, well, slab-sided. A Citroen 2CV. Big engine, lightweight hippie car. This should be fun. CV really doesn't like crosswinds. Well, there you go, you see. Next time you're out, you think you might encounter crosswinds or have to drive behind a 747 at takeoff thrust, you're better off with a Mondeo than a 2CV. It's a service we provide this stuff, you know. Yeah. We're getting very good at these public service films now. I, I think mean, so. Last week we did how much it cost to run a moustache. 
yep. in extra fuel. Uh, then there was that. And next week, we're actually going to answer the question that really is on the lips of the nation this summer. Can you ski on a public road behind the new Jaguar estate? <laughs> Important question.